let's go ahead and catch up on some Rams news, shall we? Uh, not a whole lot has happened the past couple days, but there are a few few little tidbits that are uh, of note, you know, that I'll kind of go over here. Uh, Stephon Gilmore um, will not be coming to the Rams. He's going to go ahead and sign with the Colts. I uh, got to be honest, I, I heard the rumors. I never really felt like he was coming. I just didn't. Uh, well, let, let me put it to you this way. I would have been very surprised, pleasantly surprised, had he come to the team. I just didn't see how it was possible. Stefan was, you know, he wanted to be in like the 13, 14 million price range. And we just, we just don't have that kind of money or we would have to work some sort of magic once again in order to get him. So I just, I didn't think we were going to get him. The odds were very low. So as a result, I just was not very hyped about it. If that makes sense. I would have loved to have him on the team. I think him and Jalen would have been a great tandem. I just did not see it happening. So I really didn't put much thought or feeling into it. And as it would appear, he has went ahead and signed with the Colts. So good for him. I believe he got himself paid. Um, Schefter's reporting here. It is a $23 million deal. Uh, 14 million of it is guaranteed and it is a two-year deal so two years 23 million uh, for 14 million guaranteed and he's going to the Colts Colts are building themselves a good team so should be um th they're a team to watch out for absolutely and our boy Jalen here uh, does not seems a little bit upset you know, yeah, he went onto Twitter and typed out SMH. And for all of you out there who do not use Twitter, uh, like myself, I stay off stay off of that platform. Um, but I do, in fact, know what SMH means. And if you out there do not know, I will go ahead and help you out. SMH stands for Shake My Head. It is a term used in social media to kind of or in texting to kind of show disappointment is the is the emotion that's generally felt when someone types it out disappointment or annoyance um i suppose and which one we would then indicate jalen here is shaking his head because he's disappointed Stephon Gilmore did not come to the Rams. And well, Jalen, I um, I feel you, but, you know, we can't get everybody. You know, we can still get Tyron Matthew. And I got to be honest, even him, I, I still don't even think we're going to get Tyron Matthew, but I got to give it to Les. Les just finds a way, doesn't he? Les just always finds a way. So, you know, it, it appears... Tyrone Matthew and the Rams, um, th there may be some mutual interest there, but we shall, we'll see. Um, I really don't know if we necessarily need Tyrone be because, uh, it, it, I mean, we got our safety room is pretty stacked. You know, we got Jordan Fuller, uh, we got Terrell Burgess. I want to see Terrell Burgess play a lot more this year. I do not know what the problem was. Last year, I, I don't know if his injury, his ankle did not fully heal because he had a, a pretty gruesome ankle injury the year before last year. Um, and maybe that affected him, but I'd like to see him more. We have, Ta you know, Taylor Rabb. I, I like Taylor a lot. He seems like a good young man. He um, and he is a good he's a good football player. He is. He is. He's just. He, he's just lacking in certain things you know he's just not he he can get burnt pretty easily well not easily but he gets beat every once in a while just like everybody but it, it's just you know i i suppose ideally tyrone matthew would kind of play that hybrid linebacker safety role if they were to come in but we got nick scott too you know and nick scott late played really really well in the playoffs you know we all remember him just laying the wood on uh, Debo Samuel just completely laying him out. So, I don't know. 
Yeah, we'll see. Point is, uh, Stephon Gilmore to the Colts. Congratulations. Um, and good luck, Stephon. So there's that. We go ahead and move on to our guy, Odell. Uh, Odell here uh, remains unsigned, uh, but the Rams seem like leaders to sign Odell, Ju Odell Beckham Jr., but not a slam dunk. According to Mr. Rapport, Ian Rappaport. Let's get into this here. He says Odell might be the most talented free agent left. Possibly. Um, it's a bummer that he is going to miss uh, at least part of the 2022 season. Lowering his value for whichever team ends up signing him. But if he gets a multi-year deal, he'll certainly be a big playmaker in 2023. And that, and that sucks because I know Odell was really looking forward to getting paid this offseason. But as we all know, Odell unfortunately got Torres ACL in the Super Bowl. Uh, it was a real shame because he was having a really good game. And uh, it was, I believe it was the second quarter uh, where he tore his ACL. I, I can't quite remember, but. He was doing really good. You know, he scored our first touchdown, you know, and he was and it looked like he was going to be a uh, uh, a main target for Matthew in that game. And unfortunately, he just it was just kind of a freak thing. He just kind of tore it. I guess he turned his knee too fast or planted it too hard. I don't know, but it was just a freak thing. No one touched him and the guy just went down it. And, and man. When that happened, dude, the, <laughs> that game got so much more stressful because the Bengals put the clamps on us, and and it it, it was a nail biter from that. If Odell had been in the game, I think we would have blown out the Bengals. I really do. I think Odell would have won Super Bowl MVP, and I think we would have blown the Bengals out by multiple scores. But unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, he got injured and he was out, and uh, we ended up winning the Super Bowl. Thank Christ, <laughs> by some by some by some last minute heroics by Matthew and Cooper, and by Aaron Donald. So, thank the Lord for that, because <sighs> it was stressful, as y'all know. But the point I'm trying to make here is Odell probably would have gotten paid a whole lot of money had he not gotten himself injured. And unfortunately, he will not be getting that big check that he more most likely desires. And Odell, that's just that's just it is what it is, Odell. You got yourself, you know, you got you got injured and you're going to have to prove yourself again to other teams. If you want to get that big payday, it is what it is. I'm sorry. It's just, it's life. Life sucks sometimes. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you, it sucks sometimes. But that would then indicate that he would probably be on a team-friendly deal because ideally he would be out for the majority of of the next season, the 2022 season. And a, a, what a lot of Rams fans are kind of predicting is that Odell, if we sign him, he gets healthy and then he can uh, get healthy at the right time, uh, you know, and kind of help us when we get to the playoffs, if we make the playoffs, Lord willing, but it's looking like we might be able to. And he could be that extra push, that extra weapon, that extra motivation, that 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 extra little juice. He could provide that extra juice to our team come playoff time next year that could boost us into repeating. Okay, that's that's the I mean I I, I can see it now. I can't. I can see the story, I can see it playing out in my mind. But we gotta sign him first. And and we have not signed him yet, so it's interesting uh, about what's what's going to happen on that front. The article continues. There hasn't been much reported interest in Beckham. 
and a return to the Rams shouldn't be ruled out. Ian Rappaport was on the Pat McAfee show on Friday, and he said in his opinion that the Rams are the leaders in the club's house to sign Beckham. Uh, I believe so as well. I'd actually be pretty surprised if he signs elsewhere. But then again, he hasn't been signed yet, so it's not official. Uh, Ian Rappaport is quoted here. It's not a guarantee. I don't think it's a slam dunk that he goes to the Rams, but they certainly seem like the leader in the clubhouse. He liked it there. I know he liked L.A. I know they know more about his about his medical than any other team. Their team doctor did the surgery. Other teams are interested, but that, to me, seems like the most likely scenario. So, it's what, what, he's he's not saying that he's going back to the Rams, but there's obvious, obviously... I would be surprised if he doesn't come back. Let me let me tell you, let me just say that because he he Odell has said he really likes it at the Rams. He's from he lives in LA. He really liked it here. And the Rams team doctor did the surgery on his ACL. And according according to them, he like corrected an issue in his knee. Uh, from a previous injury so because remember Odell this is not the first time he tore his ACL the first time he tore it was in Cleveland and there were reports that the surgery didn't go as well as they would like and there was still some sort of issue it doesn't go specifically into what the issue actually was but that there was some sort of issue and that he was not 100% healthy according to what he was saying the Rams team doctor did the surgery um, on the ACL tear that he had in the Super Bowl and simultaneously corrected the issue from his first ACL surgery, which would then indicate that he may um, be much healthier and uh, maybe get that maybe get that knee fully healed this time. So which would be good which would you know which would indicate that if o Odell does have his knee fixed he could have a pretty good career cuz he's a, he's quite the wide receiver you know he's a, he's a, he's very good so it's it's exciting you know and hopefully hopefully that can get him uh we can sign him to a multi-year deal cuz I would like to have Odell for the foreseeable future And lastly, it would appear Matt Gay is going to be returning to the team for he has signed a restricted free agent tender that will earn him $2.54 million in 2022. So we are getting our kicker back. He is going to come back. Uh, it was announced that he is tied to the Rams for another year at $2.54 million, which is the amount of the tender that he signed it's not guaranteed however so the rams okay so the rams could cut him without paying him anything before the season begins um though i i don't see them doing that i don't think they're going to do that i would be very shocked if they did and i would also call them out and say it would be a stupid decision if they were to cut matt gay before the season starts considering he is our only kicker that would be dumb, and the Rams are not dumb, so they're not going to do that. Uh, last season, Gay made 32 of his 34 field goal attempts in the regular season, also drilling 48 of his 49 uh, PAT attempts, the extra point after he scored a touchdown. Uh, in the postseason, he made 8 of 10 field goals, all 11 PATs, and one making 23 consecutive field goals, which is the second longest streak in franchise history. Hell yeah, Matt Gay. Uh, we signed him in 2020, solving their kicking woes after losing Greg Zerline in free agency. Y'all remember Greg Zerline was booted after he missed that field goal that in Seattle that could have won us that game and ultimately cost us a uh, playoff spot. No, 
it cost us some seating, but we lost the game in Seattle because he missed the kick. And uh, I was furious. I was pissed when that happened. I still remember that. And after that, we had good old Sam Sloman. Remember him? Uh, who was did not turn out. You know, he's from uh, Sean McVay's alma mater, uh, Miami of Ohio. And he just, he just, did, 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 it just didn't work out. He didn't seem like he had a strong enough leg. And, um, you know, he just wasn't strong enough with the kicking and he just wasn't that good. Uh, Kai Forbath came by, but struggled as well. And that was, that was a carousel because I, I get so annoyed watching kickers miss. Dude, especially professional NFL kickers. Like, y'all got one job. Like, what do y'all do in practice? Okay, like, y'all cannot be missing all these kicks and tell me that you haven't been, like, slacking off in practice if you're missing kicks routinely in the games. So, you know, it just annoys me. So we, we had that issue, but we signed Matt Gay and... So and he's been solid for us. He helped us win the Super Bowl. So I really would like to have him continue being with us for a while. And he's made 46 of his 50 field goal attempts in the regular season, becoming one of the most accurate kickers in football. So congratulations to him. Uh, it was an original round tender to use on Matt Gay uh, since he was a restricted free agent. And... He earned Pro Bowl honors last year, but obviously he didn't play because he had another game to prep for, the Super Bowl. So, congratulations to Matt. And this is, comes as no surprise. He's going to be our kicker next year. Uh, and he's going to play a pivotal role in our quest to repeat. Our quest, our, our quest for... I, I still can't even believe I'm saying this. Like... We're trying to repeat as Super Bowl champions. This was unheard of for many years of my life as a Rams fan. And if you've been, if uh, if all of you who have been longtime Rams fans who have been following them, like I, I started following them in St. Louis. Let me tell you, this is different. Okay, this is different. Like, I'm I'm still. The, the the idea that we're talking about the Rams are Super Bowl champions and they have a real shot to repeat is different and amazing to me because the Rams Ram football was not too long ago was so was like was was so laughably bad and now and I'm just so proud of this team and so proud of Sean dude and how they just turned this team around and, and how they just changed the culture so quickly, by the way. And 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 now they're Super Bowl champions, man. Last year, there, there was a lot of ups. There was a lot of downs. You know, uh, y'all heard me rant and rave and, and call out this team on a number of issues, you know. I, but they were able to weather the storm, get it together, and win the Super Bowl. And it's amazing to me. And now they have a real shot to do it again next year. And we will have Mad Gay as our kicker once again. So that's going to do it for now, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, draft is coming up. We'll see what the Rams do. Go Rams.